Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Starfruit, and today we are going to be starting uh, a Terraria Let's Play. Now, um, so I've created a character here, Starfruit, and he is set on Hardcore. Now, um, you know, I don't know much about Terraria, I mean, I do know a little bit about Terraria, I've played uh, off and on, on phone, Xbox, that kind of stuff, but I thought we were going to go in Hardcore, we're Hardcore players, you know. You know, the first time you do something, it's all it's always okay to go in. 100% over your head. And I created a World Star Kingdom and it's set on Expert. This is the first time I'm opening it, so let's get started. Now we're gonna need to get started right quick immediately because I am very scared about what could happen to us here in the uh, this unforgiving world, right? And we're an unforgiving character, we're on hardcore, which means death is permanent for us, right? Um, that's what it means to be a hardcore character. Right, and there's a certain edge that comes with being hardcore that's that doesn't come with being a uh, softcore, you know. There's just this a certain edge, right? High risk, high reward. Now, let's see. Let's kick it off. Come on, come on, come on. Don't don't do this to me. Just jump over me. Oh god, damn it. they are starting the fight. They are starting the fight, and we need some torches, so we will commence in this fight. You know, yeah, you, we, you can help us here, can't you? The uh, the guide helps out a lot with uh, with killing things, and I I played on the the phone version, so I um, you know I'm not very familiar with uh, the NPCs in there. They don't uh, they don't help you fight. They sure don't help you fight, but on here, very supportive. I love it. Um, so we don't have much time to choose, much time to think. Our home, I want to make it in this, this biome, because I like this one the best. This, this regular biome. Oh, gosh. Come on. Can't be wasting too much time here. Oh, we're not going to be able to make that jump. I don't want to use my wood, so we're going to make our house here. Uh, we have a threat approaching us. Let's uh, challenge this. Ooh, we are not going to be able to beat that one. Please don't come back at me. He's coming back. Come on. I don't... Death is permanent here, so I need to be very cautious, actually. So what am I going to do? Now, they can't jump over this. No! They can't. Oh my gosh. We're building this. There's not a chance you can come over. You got to be very cautious in this game, right? He got up. How did how did that guy get up here? Did he jump off of that? This is insane. This is insanity. Uh, but let's uh, work on cutting this tree down and building out from here. This is insanity. The slimes are beating the heck out of me, right? And they're not even that hard of an enemy, um, for what I for what I know. They're not that hard to deal with compared to other enemies. Wow. So, pretty much with this uh, here, we're going to have to stay inside all the time, 100%, because of how difficult the, uh, the slimes are here. They're really difficult. So, I imagine how difficult the, uh, can only imagine how difficult the other, other ones are to deal with. Right? Let's uh, create a crafting bench. And uh, throw that here. You know, I'm, I'm a novice player to this, so I don't know much about um, much about how to survive. I mean, <laughs> much much about how to thrive. Um, you know, nevertheless, survive, right? Or yeah, survive. I'm not entirely sure on that expression. So I want to have the floor be something other than dirt, but. For now, we're just going to have to deal with the dirt. And I'm going to go with the boreal wood, because I have a lot of it. It seems that I'm going to be able to access that a lot, and it'll be a very useful thing to have. Let's see. Let's... Oh! We go over here to the crafting table. We just create our first tool, and it is the, um, the, the mess-up tool. The hammer. Right? For all the people who can't handle the game. Right? They're... Oh, I'm cracking that. Come on. Just 
place it. So you just click over the block and place this on. I like the look of Boreal Wood. It's clean. It's uh, it's clean cut. It's clean cut. Let's see. Let's see. Bring it on over here. Fill this area in. go now putting in a wall is not the most fun thing in the world to do it just got a lot darker let's uh use some of this gel <sighs> make a few torches our guide is more powerful than we are now that's sad i mean i think that's sad that our guide is at this time more powerful than we are in terms of fighting enemies <clears throat> make that symmetrical but let's just actually do this place two torches here and then get rid of these two in the middle there we go I like that better now let's uh let's open up this up here I don't want to face those slimes right now and I know that's that sounds really really stupid like oh I don't I'm too too much of a baby to face these slimes but um I am I am. It's very, it's very scary to face them. But I like this background, and you know, I wish we were. It was a really big emergency, so I had to build the house right there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna collect some wood here so we can make some wood armor. Now, wood armor is gonna provide me with four defense, which is not at all a lot, but it's gonna be enough to maybe save our lives, our lives, our life. We have one. Let's remind you of that. And I need to be setting a, a timer for these these let's plays. That just dawned on me. But let's see. I'll do that for the next episode. For now, I'm I'm gonna just do uh, one uh, one day night cycle. Um, but let's see. Let's see. Let's get the helmet. I need that. I need this one. The breastplate. I need the the greaves. No, I do I need a broadsword? Seven melee, five. Fast speed, very fast speed. What's better? Um, for safety measures, uh, how much does this cost to make? The bow is ten. How much is the sword? Seven. We'll take a bow and a sword, just for safety measures, because we're going to start collecting some arrows from... Uh, from some enemies, hopefully. Let's throw this stuff on here. And, uh, let's see, two and three. Don't you get a group defense, though? Matching attire, I got that. But, uh, I thought you got, like, a, a bonus. Set bonus is one defense. Thing is... Oh, so the Greaves, okay. You're only going to get three because the Greaves provide no defense. But they do give you the set bonus. They do enable you to have that. Let's uh, switch this out here. Now we have a wood broadsword. Or wood sword. Alright, let's get our guy over here. Andrew. I don't know what his name is. Asher. Asher. Let's let Asher take care of these. Actually, because I'm not risking my life for this, you know what I mean. Get out. I jumped in, immediately got hurt, and now I'm bailing out. Let's challenge this one here. See if it has what it takes to fight me. It does. And it has more. Okay, thank you very much. Just run inside. Hopefully Asher will come inside. Look at Asher. He is just taking care of, uh, taking care of business out here. Right? I don't know how he's doing it. He's taking care of things. Oh, I see why the, the slime can't jump up here. Because it's it's one block higher than, than the jump. But on the... Uh, I'm just watching Asher take care of this. But you can see here on the uh, left side... It's six. So they can, can't jump. But the slime's here picking up the coins. Asher's going to take care of it, though. Asher is dang good at this. Take care of him, Asher. Hit it. Oh. Bad shot, Asher. Come on. I should get a wait a minute. 
You gotta know the slime's gonna jump. There we go! There we go. Let's lure this slime out here. Jump out here. Don't go in my house, please. No. I didn't shut the door. Or I can capture it here. And since it's kind of trapped in here, I can just hit it back like that. It jumps against the wall. Back it up against the wall. Oop. And take care of it that way. Now, I don't know if the ice slime is easier or harder to deal with. Let's do this. No, they're easier to deal with. And the purple. Me and Asher taking this, taking that out. Let's build another door. Make this one, I want it to be symmetrical. So we're gonna make it a wooden one. There we go. And that is taken care of. Let's throw these torches here outside so that uh, everything's nice and lit up. Now we have a way to get in from both sides. Some penguins joining us. Now zombies are really difficult to deal with and, uh, on the computer right here. They're very strong, very fast. Some immune to knockback. So, Asher don't stray too far away now. Now I'm gonna need to develop a mine here soon. So I'm actually gonna put that here. We'll put some wood planks over it though. The elevator will come out of this. You know what? It, that's fine. We're just gonna stay in here, Asher. It's gonna be fine. Now I actually might make some kind of mine thing in here. But I'm gonna blow my nose quick, and seeing as we're not gonna go anywhere for a while. I think that's fine. Apologize, I guess I've contracted some kind of flu or something. I don't know if the zombies are able to break down these doors. But I sure hope they're not. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Let's go over here and drill out right here. Perfect setting to uh, start making my elevator. We're gonna start grabbing some stone. That might be useful later. Uh, I do have some gel. I have 10 gel. We can make some torches with this. This is good. This is good. Make some of these. Let's see. I'll organize my inventory a little bit more when I have more uh, inventory that needs to be dealt with. Let's jump down here and make some wood planks. These are going to be very useful for creating a ladder so I can get back up from this little mining trip exploration here. Need a little bit of backing. You know what, I should do a dirt, dirt wall. This dirt wall, yep. I only need four, it's fine. Dirt wall here. And let's jump on down here. So we have some torches and uh, let's, I don't need these actually. Don't need that, don't need that. Right there, so our inventory is nice and nice and organized. Let's put the hammer over here. I don't have any arrows. I don't know where the arrows would be stored. Oh, right here. In ammo. Let's continue digging down. Let's see where this takes us. So I currently don't have a, uh, a video editing software, so if you guys know any video editing software, feel free to um, suggest that as well. So. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing is just a day and night um, rotation for for episodes at this point. And uh, once I get a video editing software, I might be able to do a little bit more uh, with that because I can, uh, you know, uh, cut cut some of the more boring parts out. Jump up here, do that. 
then can I jump there? I can't jump there. Are you? Man? That's not cool. Come on. Let's see, we'll place a torch here. <clears throat> and keep on, keep on digging here. Let's see where this takes us, you know? Now, where I'm going right now is probably more dangerous than, uh, than the outside that I'm running from, that I'm hiding in, inside from, with the zombies. Where I'm going now is probably more dangerous. That's something to keep in mind, but not something that should stop you, or at all affect your action, right? Let's see. Jump up here. Throw this down. Just right out of reach, and throw that down there. Drop down one more torch right here. Oh, not there. Not there. Come on, get the symmetry now that we're uh, over here. Drop that down there. And continue digging down. The safest route down is straight down. You know this from Minecraft Terraria. It's a little bit safer in Terraria to dig straight down because you're not, uh, you don't fear um, straight drop. You can actually see something below you. Something that might be below you. I thought that snow was the start of a cavern. It wasn't. I need a little bit more wood planks. I can jump on that. Let's see. Wood platform. I'm sorry. Call them planks. <clears throat> Probably influenced from Minecraft. Let's see. Uh, do this kind of setup. I like that kind of torch. Torch. No. Uh, the torch kind of a. Uh, um, torch platform setup. It's a good setup. See, so this this will act as some kind of. This probably won't be our elevator, because I want that to be a straight drop. Now, for any of you that don't know what a elevator is, it's a pretty much a, a three wide straight drop from the overworld to the underworld. Now, this is your fastest way of getting around town um, that I know of. There might be some new terrarium mechanics that I haven't heard of that we could incorporate. But, of what I know, that's the fastest way to get around. Set that up. See, place a torch, jump up, place a torch, hit up some wood platforms, hit up some more wood platforms, and this is the time when we can't exactly make that jump. So, just keep digging, right? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Got some tungsten in here. You know, <clears throat> good for uh, good for everything. Tungsten's a great resource to have. Now, uh, what's in this direction? Now we're at the point where we can kind of explore here. I don't love the winter biome, the ice tundra. It's not. Um, it's not my favorite. Not my favorite. Let's see, we have a, a vase. Or a vase. However, the angry commenter prefers to, uh, to call it, is what we'll call it. Alright. Let's see, so we have some lead here. <clears throat> now, that's. I don't think lead is as useful a resource as tungsten. But it, it might have its merits. I don't know. I think it can make a bucket. That's pretty cool. Provides one defense. Would wouldn't wouldn't help us because our goal is to uh, to have you know a solid defense. Like if we put the bucket on our head, that's where we put it to provide a defense. It would cancel out the the one that we're gaining from our legs, and we'd be left with two because it, it would be replacing the one that we get from the wood. And I'd rather just have three defense than two. If uh, if you guys don't mind, I think that's more useful. Let's see here. Some wood planks here. I believe that's the highest I can place a torch as well. Place a torch here. Some wood planks. Now, 
Is it still nighttime? Let's see. It looks like daytime to me, actually. Let's see. I'm going to go grab this star since nobody's out here. Let's see. Is it is it daytime? Is it really daytime now? We survived our first night, guys. Look at that. Look at that. We survived our first night. Now I have this hole here. I'm probably not going to do anything with Oh, we have a zombie. This night is not over. I called it too early. I called it too early. I'm going down. I'm taking off, guys. We're going down here. Continue mining. Just pretend that it's uh, not nighttime and there's not zombies outside. You know, zombies exist in real life, too, so you just need to, uh, just need to close your doors. And, uh, that theoretically will stop them, right? But if you know anything about, about zombies, it's that a door won't stop them. It will not stop them. They will give their half-life for, uh, for yours, right? Some water here. I don't know what's in here. Some ice. It doesn't look. I don't really want to explore that because it looks like a waste of time. But we got some health potions. That was probably from that you know, vase I didn't bother reading. No, oh, we only have 12 torches. We're gonna have to fight some slimes. And by we are gonna have to fight some slimes, I mean we're gonna have to get our guide outside, get him active, and make him kill some for us. Right. Why won't this place? Okay, there it goes. That's what I meant. There we go. Now I believe it should be daytime now. I think when we, I oh, think, think when we went up there before, it should. Uh, it was coming close today. There we go. There we go. We survived our first night. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We survived. So I didn't set a timer. So I'm gonna cut it off here. Now thank you everybody for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.